Welcome to our viewers in Nigeria and across the world. Lunchtime politics begins right now. A defection and counter-defection in Rivers State. 27 out of 32 lawmakers in the State Assembly leave the ruling PDP for the APC, while some APC and SDP members also defect to the PDP. Okoki State APC vows sanction against party members whom it says worked against its just uh, its victory in the just concluded governorship election as questions mount over the reported theft of petitions which were filed at the tribunal. Plato APC in disarray over who will replace the Minister for Labor, Mr. Simon Lelong, should he resign as Minister and take up the senatorial seat. We begin with breaking news we're following for you in River State, South South Nigeria, where 27 out of 32 members of the River State House of Assembly on the platform of the People's Democratic Party are reported to have decamped to the All Progressives Congress APC. What a twist. Well, the lawmakers are the ones under the leadership of Martin Ameule and are believed to be loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Mr. Yesom Wiki. Well, speaking to Channel's television, one of the lawmakers, NME George, says the notice of defection was announced at an early morning sitting today. Well, he says they decided to join the opposition All Progressives Congress in the state because they voted for President Bola Tinubu. On your Monday, on your Monday, we shall On your Monday, on your Monday, we shall Well, there you see the sum of the lawmakers in this state uh, who have just defected from the People's Democratic Party uh, to the APC. They're singing. Uh, the mandate anthem, which is uh, one that, of course, synonymous to President Bola Tinubu, was made popular during uh, the electioneering process from the campaign to the eventual victory. But those are the lawmakers uh, in a bus uh, after they defected to the APC from the People's Democratic Party. 27 of them uh, in total are said to have defected uh, to the APC out of the 32 members of the state assembly in River State. And they uh, are said to be the ones under the leadership of Martin Amewule and are believed to be loyal to the minister of the federal capital territory, Mr. Yesam Wiki. This, of course, follows uh, the weeks of political drama in this state, uh, beginning uh, with the dispute between the governor, Governor Similari Fubara, and the minister of the FCT and former governor of the state. Mr. Yesom Wike, of course, has spiraled into the State Assembly, uh, the burning of the building, and we saw uh, some attack on the governor himself. This is where the politics in River State is at today with the defection of these members to the opposition APC in the state. But there's more to that political drama unfolding in River State as some leaders and members from other parties have announced their defection this time around to the ruling PDP, that's the People's Democratic Party. Well, leading the defectors from the Social Democratic Party, the SDP, and the All Progressives Congress, the APC, are deputy governorship candidate of the SDP in the 2023 election, Patricia Bunaya, and former Awada West's caretaker chairman, Karibu Wilson. They were accompanied by their supporters and other party excos. It's a beehive of activity at the community school field in Akinima community of Ahoda West local government area of River State as members of the Social Democratic Party and All Progressives Congress in the local government area are here in their numbers. They're ditching their former parties to pitch a tent with the PDP group loyal to Governor Simlaye Fubara as read out in their joint communique. Before the surprise undemocratic impeachment efforts 
of 30th October 2023 by a section of our legislative arm against you, the people's governor. These undemocratic acts is and, will, and was highly resisted and condemned by the reverse electorate and we are in absolute solidarity with you. You kept asking, what offense have I committed to warrant my impeachment? And to this day, no answer has been provided. And we are still waiting endlessly because you haven't committed any offense that warrants impeachment. Leading both parties are Deputy Governorship Candidate of the SDP, Patricia Ogbunnaya, and Karibo Wilson from the APC. About 10 leaders whispered to me that they want to join us. We are here to support the God-chosen governor of River State, Semelai Fubara. God has placed Fubara there, and that is why we are here. We are going to support him as the governor of River State to deliver that mandate that God has given to him. Also in attendance are some members of the Edison ehia led group of state lawmakers. The member representing Ahoda West, good boy Sukari, who is standing in for the governor, alongside Oko Jumbo from Boni constituency, receive the defectors and present them with PDP branded souvenirs. The campaigns from various political parties are now here to show support for the God choosing governor of River States. Ama Opu Senebo. Sir, Simini Alai, Joseph, Fubara, Grand Service Star of River States. The Speaker of the 10th Assembly, Right Honorable Edison Ehe, he has said I should greet you and tell you that at the appropriate time he will come to speak to his Madonna people. He is Econo Ahuda West. As it stands, it's not yet clear if Senator Magnus Abbey will be joining his running mate in the PDP. Well, there's a lot going on in River State, so let's bring you more. We have joining us live our correspondent, Charles Operum. Well, Charles, we've always known politics in River State to be intriguing. This looks like it's living up to the billing, but at another height. What exactly are we witnessing, Charles? Hi, Coyote. Um, absolutely. It's been a very eventful 24 hours here in River State. I mean, we had barely settled with the massive defection that happened in Ahuda West yesterday, as shown there on the screen, uh, with members of the PDP, uh, the Edison Ahead-led group of lawmakers, you know, talking that up as some sort of a, a, a big win for them politically, uh, apparently trying to build a structure uh, for uh, Edison and the governor, Simnalai Fubara, in their political battle um, with, seemingly with the minister. No sooner had that happened than we were inundated by the news this morning of the 27 lawmakers led by uh, Right Honorable Martins Ame Wule announcing their defection to the All Progressives Congress in a plenary that happened this morning. You know, it was very quiet, very quick, and all that. And it happened quick, uh, very quietly at the auditorium of the House of Assembly. Now, but that is not all. Something else happened at that plenary today. There was a move to amend the River State uh, local government uh, law to remove the powers of the governor to appoint caretaker chairman in the event that the term limits of the current chairman, you know, elapse. So that is a very deliberate move. It has flown a little bit under the radar, but it's something worth noting, you know. Um, yes, indeed, the politics in River State is gradually heating up. There are alignments and realignments, but we're going to be here to bring you the details as a break. Kaudi. And I think one major concern for people is usually what this might do to security in the state. Security, governance, and the rest. Just talk to us. How are the people of Rivers receiving this? Are, are, are they fully aware of, of what's going on? What is uh, the city like? Okay. Um, so far, so good. There has not been a breakdown in law and order. Recall that um, a new commissioner of police just took over. Last month, that was a uh, commissioner of police, Tunji Jisu. He took over from the former one, CP, Emeka Woyi, after 
uh, the incident of uh, tear gassing the governor and spraying uh, uh, shooting water cannons at the governor when he tried to make his way to the House of Assembly, you know, that incident that went viral at the time. So there's a new CP. So far, so good. Things have been calm. There has not been a breakdown in law and all. Well, our correspondent Charles Operum there giving us uh, an update. We've uh, momentarily lost connection with him. But uh, this conversation is a major one. It doesn't just concern South South River State, which, of course, is a prominent state politically, economically for Nigeria, understanding the oil wealth in that region. But this is something that, well, goes beyond River State as well, because we have a former governor of River State who is the minister. Uh, of the FCT uh, right now in the nation's capital with an alliance uh, with the ruling APC at the national level, still holding on to his membership uh, of the People's Democratic Party. So there are lots of questions about what this portends for politics in River State, for national politics as well, the PDP and the APC. What will be the fate of the minister of the F FCT, Mr. Yesom Wike? Is he moving to the APC? Is he staying in the PDP? Because he has said time and again that he will remain in the People's Democratic Party. Well, there's still the dispute between him and the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the just-concluded election, Mr. Atiku Abubakar. So how is this going to play out politically? But again, the big picture is governance for people in River State. How is this affecting uh, governance in River State? What does this mean for the people? We'll bring you more on this uh, matter as we progress on the show. But let's talk to you about the just concluded elections in Kogi State, particularly the governorship election. As a ruling, all progressives Congress in the state is asking members who worked against the party during that November 11th election to brace up for sanctions. The chairman of the party, Mr. Abdullahi Bello, stated this in Lokoja, the state capital, while inaugurating a review committee aimed at scrutinizing the conduct of members during and after the election. The November 11, 2023 governorship election in Kogi State may have been won by the All Progressives Congress, but the party appears dissatisfied with the conduct of some members, as attested to by the state governor and the party chairman at the stakeholders' meeting, which took place shortly after the governor elect received his certificate of return. We have to now review and evaluate how did we get here. Those of you that constitute leaders today. Shame on you. Very big shame on you. Now that the election are over, we will undertake what we have not been doing in the past, i.e. doing a postmortem of the election to identify those that betray the party. Marching words with action, the party inaugurates an 11-member high-powered review committee with a vow to sanction erring members and also reward those who worked for the party. State clearly the roles of the roles and performance of the party members shadow saddle with the conduct of the election before, during, and after the exercise. Identify all cases and incidents of anti-parties by party members and recommend appropriate disciplinary action. The Speaker of the State House of Assembly, who is the Chairman of the Review Committee, highlights the essence of a political party as he promised that the committee will remain unbiased. With the caliber of people here, those who you rely on their experiences politically and administratively, we want to say that on behalf of honorable members here that we accept this responsibility with utmost sincerity and that we are going to discharge duty without fear or favor. Although the All Progressives Congress won the election, the party believes the review is necessary to examine what transpired in the state before and during the elections, as it expects to report within two weeks. Let's now bring you more on the breaking story from River State. We're joined by Mr. Karibo Wilson, former caretaker chairman, Aoda West Local Government Area, APC House of Assembly candidate of Aoda West. And you may have seen him uh, as part of the uh, group defecting. It's good to have you on the program, uh, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, thank you. Honorable Karibo 
Right. So speak to us. Uh, I mean, we, we saw as a group in the SDP and uh, the APC were saying goodbye to the PDP. Hours after, we've seen 27 lawmakers in the PDP moving to the APC. Uh, speak to us. What exactly is going on? Because I know for you politicians, you have a different view uh, of happenings. What are we looking at, Honorable? Yeah, um, for we right now, uh, the politics are lasting. You know, like in the APC, uh, they have different groups. They have the APC, who are loyal to, they have some people who are loyal to Mika Mikael, APC, and another, uh, so you want to uh, like for me, uh, I was in a school on this and I expected to see support uh, the governor of River State. This is excellent things in life, but and just this morning, there's a uh, seven. So, in that state today, I think that in alignment and realignment based on your political interests. So, the question now is with the timing of your own defection and then the what we can call counter defection now by the lawmakers. What then is the fate of the governor, whom you say you defected to actually support? If a majority of the lawmakers in the House of Assembly are no more in this party, aren't you worried that he will be impeached and then your support for him will not count for much anymore? I defected for, for the interest, for the interest of reverse. If you notice that um, um, reverse people are in support, so much reverse persons, all Kadam, the elders, the traditional rulers, senior political uh, opinion leaders, the youth, women, uh, they welcome the, 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 the government, they are in support. When this uh, fight broke out in the Rusty House of Attorney, majority of the people supporting the That is the interest of the Even these lawmakers who are defected in their various constituents, majority of the people today are in support of uh, the government. I, 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 I don't believe that um, they actually consulted with their participants before making this discussion. But if you look at the course of the speech now, the, the government of the United States like, has great support. But are you worried that he may be impeached, seeing that, well, the majority of the lawmakers are now in the opposition party. Why do they want to impeach him? What's the reason for impeaching him? Or well, does the law allow that just to look up one day, say, oh, we don't like it, then you must be impeached. Why do you want to impeach him? Follow the procedure and give reason. At a time you mean that you present are the people you are representing, they want the governor to be impeached. It's not, you are not there on your own You are sent by the people to present the views for them. You want to impeach the governor. Does it reflect the wish of the people you are representing? You should take paramount place. Well, you've spoken a lot about the people, the traditional rulers, saying that they are very much in support. Uh, Governor Simeon Alayu Fubara. 
So does that mean that they're not in support of the FCT minister, Mr. Yesom Wike? The, the, when I say in support, they don't want, they are against the impeachment of the government. Yes, there are some who are, yeah, they, 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 they would like the, the minister, yes. But to impeach the governor, majority of the person, entire person, doesn't want the governor. First, the person who don't say anything in their home, they have not committed any table offense. So to what extent then can, will the people go in support of the governor? Uh, are they willing to tell it to the face uh, of whomever uh, may be, you know, against him and say, well, this is our person. You cannot touch him or you cannot, because I know the governor has also said he will do his work uh, regardless of opposition and, and what have you. So to what extent are the people willing to go for him? What is the sentiment uh, from the people, not just for the governor, but for the minister of the FCT now? Uh, uh, what do they see him as? in all of this interplay, because we know primarily this is said to be a conflict between the governor and his predecessor, uh, the minister of the FCT. Well, uh, from what I've heard, I've heard in radio, I've seen in television, most of the uh, constituency have been calling on their representatives to support the government and stop any impeachment process or to uh, start the process of uh, calling them. You can count the number of I don't see many uh, processes that have done it and some of us who are still ready who are on, who are planning or are personally called their representatives and as in as as a people, they, they are planning to make sure they call every of the seven members, let them know they are, they are, they are the on this whole saga that is happening. So I, I wonder for you, with this recent move, uh, I know politicians, you always make your permutations, your calculations, and you look ahead. Think about what's going to happen. So what are the, uh, I, I don't know, maybe the worst case scenario now for you, really? Do you see uh, the minister of the FCT uh, now moving to the APC? By the way, you are in the PDP with the minister of the FCT, but clearly we see that there are different alignments. So do you fear that he may now be moving to the APC since we've seen the lawmakers move to the APC, which would be a major one uh, against the PDP? Exactly what are your expectations? Um, I will leave one for now. I, will, I don't know in mind. I don't know what is the decision. But I can't, I can't be to All right, let's wind down with this one. So, seeing you defect with uh, the deputy governorship candidate of the SDP and other members uh, and followers, I should say. Uh, but we noticed that the governor did not receive you. It wasn't the governor that received you. And for such, well, a major defection, some will say, you'll expect that uh, Governor Seminari Fubara will come and say, well, welcome to the fold. Thank you for your support. Uh, so some will say that doesn't give validation to your defection as much, or at least the value you bring to the table in terms of support. You know, politics is local. Politics is local. It starts from your world, your, your unit, your world, the whole government, before you get to the state. So, we've all done that at the unit level, done that at the world level. This was at the local government level. So, when once your unit receives you, they received you, they registered you in the world, registered you as a member, local government has also welcomed me to the party. Um, at that level, I don't think it's Well,
Consequently, we now present ourselves as an official, official to the government. Well, we're, we're going to keep tabs uh, with the developments in River State, and we do hope that everything goes peacefully, and at least for the good people of River State. But we'd like to thank you so much, Honorable Karibo Wilson, uh, from Aketika Chairman, Aouda West Local Government Area, now a member of the People's Democratic Party. He was of the APC as of yesterday, but now with the PDP. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We'll stay with politics this time in Plateau State, where appears that all may not be well within the All Progressives Congress in the state as the agitation uh, for the possible successor of the Minister uh, of Labour, as should he uh, resign as Minister, continues to cause disaffection with the party. A uh, re reaction to the non-recognition of Beatrice Kasua as a part member by the state executive due to his intent to also succeed the former governor as Minister, stakeholders from Pangshin federal constituency condemned the position of the state executive as unacceptable. In the same manner, Honorable Biturus Barge Kaswa appointed also to be a member of Presidential Campaign Council of this present government, Tinibu Campaign Council, of which he served meritoriously to the development and progress of this party. He has contributed a lot to this party. For someone to wake up one day and say that he's not a party member, it is a shame and it is unacceptable. So therefore, we the people of Panshin Kanke Kanam have come here to express our dismay that our son is a party man He's a full member of APC, and he has served this party for long. And for that, the position that he's aspiring or he's looking for should be awarded and should be given to him. There you have it. That's lunchtime politics for this afternoon. But still with channels television for all of the breaking news uh, from a development in River State across the country. I'm Kairo Kikulu. Goodbye.